Good morning. So what just arrived is the toy box. Um, I'm getting two of those per week and I'm stocking up my 80s toy collection. Because I missed the 80s, the 80s were the best time in my life. So let's open this. What is the toy box? It's a monthly subscription box and um, it has 80s stuff in it. So that's basically it. Now let's open it. Okay. So what month do we have today? Now okay this is glued here as well. So, what's in the toy box? Okay, www the toy box uh, the minus toy minus box dot biz slash store php. You can buy stuff there. It's it's pretty nice. You can actually buy action figures from the eighties and I think even earlier. Um, there's uh, three boxes as far as I know that you can have subscriptions for and um, there is the 80s box the 90s box and then there is uh, the girls 90s box uh, which are all cool but I'm um, a bigger fan of the 80s and I want to really stock up on my 80s stuff so it comes with one comic always uh, so far I only had um, uh, Transformers comics, so this is new. This is an old DC comic from the 80s, All-Stars Squadron. It's very old school. I'm gonna enjoy reading that. Now look at how they were printed on this old paper back then. This, this is also a bit browned already from the age. This, this were the kind of comics I remember from the 80s because I'm an old fart. Now, then there comes always a pack of cards. And most of them that I got so far were originally packed as trading cards. And they still have the uh, chewing gum from the 80s in there. <laughs> um, well, um, these are not originally packed sadly, but they got this nice uh, other package here. And those are Dune trading cards. Dune, if you haven't seen Dune because you're too young, go and watch it. I did not know Picard played in Dune, but well, now I know because I got remembered by the card. Baron Harkonnen receives his treatment. This is an evil guy, man. Okay, well. I'm not gonna show you all of those cards. Get your own box if you want that. Now, there's always two action figures, like small action figures. Okay. There's a guy with a drum. I have no clue what this is from. Usually they send muscles stuff, but... You know, I actually called the guy so there is, there is the first action figure. Um, I, I wrote the guy because I wanted to order two boxes a month and um, asked him to mix it up a little bit so I don't get the same stuff. And he actually did that for me. So I guess I get more variety now, which is very interesting. I like that. So I have no clue what this is about. I'm trying to find out and um, tell you in a later video. Maybe if you know, leave a comment uh, down below. Now, okay, that's the first one. So the second little action figure, I think is a McDonald's toy from the 80s. It's one of those wind-up cars. It has the policeman burger. 
I can't remember the names of those. Oh, you can turn it around, that's good. So that's him. Very cool. You know, um, I don't know, the quality was better, definitely. And the AGs of those toys, I think. There's another action figure. Oh, wow, well, I had that actually when I was younger. That's from Ghostbusters. I'm pretty sure it's Peter Wingman. And he can be quite scared. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. And then there is always a video game, and that's that's pretty much it. Um, what we have here is called Invaders. So I guess it's some kind of Invaders clone. Invaders is a purple feature adapt action of their card Space Invaders game in machine code and high resolution color graphics. Play a normal game or choose from the many options, including missile, bomb, and invader speeds. Invisible invisible invaders and shields, no shields. Invisible invisible. And quite simply the best loading instruction. Type chain. If the first time loading is not achieved, then some experimentation with tone and volume controls in your recorder may be necessary. Okay. Invaders. Now, 40 Acorn. There it says it. It's 40 Acorn. So this is a cassette video game. Yeah, it's the second I have, I think. Um, often they send Atari stuff. Isn't that, were those really from the 80s, Ghostbusters, and just from the 90s? Well, <clears throat> anyway, I still had that figure, that's pretty cool to have it back. Here's the Ghostbusters logo, pretty nice. Well, that's it folks, that's the loot for the, these two weeks. And in two weeks I receive another box and we can continue this. See you man!